Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an arcade playing Plague Inc. Today I'm going to show you the Cheat Plagues. The, you get these after you um, complete Bioweapon. Pretty much what the Cheat Plagues are is they essentially, well they're cheats. This one, the Immune Plague, no cure um, is ever found. Hidden Plague, no governments ever notice the plague. And Unlimited DNA in this one here, an Unlimited Plague. So I'm going to start with Immune and work my th way through. Um, yes. Symptom costs don't increase, but easier to cure. Sure, why not? I'm in the new cure one, so why should I bother? More likely to cross the loose land border. Um, your plague, your plague can mutate transmissions. Sounds good to me. And let's go Metabolic Hijack. Alright. Go Mega Brutal, because you know what? No cure. No cure. Alright, so considering there's no cure, we can start wherever the bloody hell we want. Um, start in Australia. Alright, so the Metabolic, the metabolic Hijack... Um, Gene, pretty much what that does is it pops all bubbles except the blue ones straight away, as you can see here. Um, I typically don't use this gene because of the reason that it um, pretty much <laughs> means you have no purpose of even playing the game. But seeing this as a cheat plague, I don't really mind. Um, yeah, there's just better genes. I think in that category that give you more DNA points, but um, you know some other people might prefer it. Completely up to them. Right, so I need 11 for the medicine. So I might take this plague a little bit slow. There might be a couple of jumps in this video, considering it's going to take a while. But uh, you know, just sit back, take it easy, because this is a cheat plague. You don't need to worry about anything. I just clicked that. I don't know why I did, but you know. I think I might individually click on each. I think I might take my time. Embrace the fact that it's going to be um, completely infected before I even think about doing anything. Alright, so... Gonna need some quicker infection, I think. So at the moment we're only infecting like three people at a time. Not exactly the quickest infection we've had. I actually did not know Australia had two seaports. I thought I only had this one over here. I didn't... Oh, okay. See what happens when you pay attention, people. I wonder if anywhere else has two seaports. I think the UK does. Yep. Cool. So the genes I've got evolved. Uh, evolved. The genes I've got at the moment, they um, evolve transmissions. Uh, not evolve, mutate transmissions by themselves. I've got the one that makes abilities, I think it's abilities, abilities not increase in, or no it was symptoms, increase in expense as you purchase more, which is very useful. Alright, well I might jump the video a bit forward here because it's taking its sweet time, so I'll jump ahead and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see I'm in the final stages of the plague, I haven't even thought about evolving to kill yet, um, yeah, pretty relaxed. So it looks like Sweden's the only one that's dwindling behind, and then I might just murder. 
No healthy people left. All right, let's let's kill them. There you go. There's one death thing. Now some of you may be wondering why there's a cure thing here. Um, as you can see, the cure does increase, but when it it's not going to finish at all. As you can see here, status no research and stuff, so it's not going to cure pretty much. So I'm slowly killing people. Death, death, death. Killed more than school points. Right, so now we're increasing the DNA points for the killing. And then I'll get it to kill faster. Hopefully soon. 29 for insanity. So yes, that's that's just a quick look at the um, at the cure immunity. As you can see, these cheat plagues are just a little bit of fun. They're not as um, entertaining or fun as the normal plagues, but they just they just put there for a little bit of a little bit of fun. So as you can see, it just gives you immunity on the on the, uh, on the on the plague on the cure. So just allowing you to do whatever the hell you want, pretty much. Alright, so this is almost completed. Um, now we're going to have a look at the no government plague. Uh, that plague pretty much stops all government interference. So I'll, let's have a look at that plague now. Alright, so this is the Hidden Plague, uh, no government interference whatsoever, so pretty much um, it just means that you will never be seen by the government at all, so you can just not have any government interference pretty much. Um, so yeah, let's click on some of these genes. So I don't know if that means I don't know if that means um, that I don't know if that means that the cure will start because it's hidden. So that means the government. Yeah, maybe it does mean the cure won't start because the government will never find it. So pretty much it's like the same as the first plague, except there'll be no. Oh no! What is going on? something, anything. Alright. So, it's going to have a very slow start like the last one. So, I'm going to skip the video ahead and let you see the infected world. So, as you can see, um, without the government, all the ports are completely open. Uh, you can see all the infected planes and boats going everywhere. I've completely infected the world. I haven't even thought about killing them yet. I'm, see, as you can see down here, but they are dying for some reason. Um, if you look at my symptoms, you can see there's nothing lethal selected. But um, yeah, all right. So that's a brief look at the no government plague. Um, all right. So now let's have a look at the infinite DNA points plague. All right. So this is the unlimited um, DNA cheat plague. Pretty much this one is the most overpowered one. Um, the only way you can fail this one is the way that I failed this last time, um, which is <laughs> which is to evolve it too much and end up killing everyone. Alright, so let's have a quick look at this. I'm going to start in Greenland, because as you can see down here, the DNA points are at 2,000. Um, so let's just evolve every single transmission straight away. So what we're going to do is, we're going to evolve all the transmissions and we're going to evolve all the abilities. Except for the genetic reshuffles. Alright, maybe, maybe a couple symptoms as well. 
just to kick this thing off the road. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a go. So as you can imagine, this one can be very quick, and you can fail it very easily. Hypersensitivity is mutated. That's alright. So straight away, it's out of the country. And straight away it's infected. And there it goes, there's the big ass wave. And this would have to be the biggest wave I've ever seen. why this plague cheat is my favourite. Look at the infectivity bar go up. And it's almost completely red already. And we've almost completely infected the world. And it looks like... Where are we missing? New Zealand's lagging behind. Let's just uh, increase this a little bit. I'll leave that for now. <laughs> Place them, watch this. Look out. Okay, no people left in the world that are healthy, so let's just upgrade. Everything. And you can watch the bodies drop to the ground. Alright, let's go. And we have every single upgrade. Let's just watch this. Watch the black meter. Now you gotta watch it closely before it disappears. That is how to win at the Infinite DNA Cheat Plague without any effort whatsoever. Alright, so this has been an arcade showing you the Cheat Plagues. Oh look, I got five stars. Fantastic. Or five biohazard symbols. Um, 179 days. I'm pretty good. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please check out my other videos in Plague Inc. They're more entertaining than the cheap plagues. This is just a quick look at the cheap plagues. Um, and uh, possibly subscribe if you're interested in my channel. Um, I'd also like you to have a very good day for me.